Oh no, my head is definitely cut off. We just gotta zoom out. Gotta zoom out. Now I fit. Hey guys, it's Melissa and I'm back for my first thrift haul since fall or winter of 2017. Don't get me wrong, I've been out buying lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Um, but that definitely isn't everything. Um, instead of keeping you here to see everything that I've bought in the past few months, I picked out a few of my favorite things and a few more recent items. And I hope that it inspires you guys to go check out your local thrift store. Like I've said in so many of my other videos, there, it is such a great way to save money, save the environment, and to quit supporting all of these businesses that exploit human beings and the earth. So. Let me get off of my soapbox and let's get into the video. So I'm just gonna go and hop in with like my favorite item that I have found so far in 2018. No, I'm not kidding. It's only a pair of denim shorts and it's my favorite, favorite thing that I found. But let me tell you why. These are by Levi's. Um, they are not self-distressed. They are actually made this way with the frayed edge in the rolled hem. They are button fly, high waisted, ultra comfortable, and they were six dollars. Six dollars. I mean, have you been on the Levi's store online lately or in the store? I mean, I haven't been in the store. I look online sometimes and then I say, oh my god, I'm not paying sixty dollars for a pair of shorts. Six dollars I can do. So this is kind of my number one find for 2018 so far. Um, some more denim that I have found. <laughs> Someone's going to laugh at these. I just know it. I know, I know, I know. They're a little ugly. Um, they're vintage Jordache. I don't know if anyone remembers that brand. But they are so high-waisted and so stonewashed. And just so reminiscent of, I don't know, are these 80s or these 90s? I don't know. They're straight out of somewhere else. But they were only 99 cents. And the fact that they are ultra high-waisted and baggy in the leg means that they are going to make amazing cut-off shorts. And I think I'm actually going to do a video um, where I cut these 99-cent bad boys. And I think I'm also going to cut, oops, I'm going to cut these vintage Gap button fly high, they're kind of like high-rise, mid-rise jeans. They have the boot cut on the bottom. Um which it's a very slight boot cut, but again, I'm not into boot cuts. So I think I'm going to chop these off right above the ankle, give them that cool frayed edge, high water look. Um, these I actually found in the little girls section at Goodwill. If you're small like I am, always, always, always check the kids section because it seems like people will just see something small and think that it's for babies when really it's not. I don't shop at Baby Gap. Um, these are Adult Gap. Uh, they are a woman's size zero, but they had them tagged as a girl's size 10, which for me was great because instead of paying maybe 12 or $13 for a pair of vintage women's denim, I paid $6 for a pair of what they thought were girls' pants. I mean, any person would know though that a kid I mean, if I was a kid and had button flies, I'd be going crazy. So stay tuned for that video. All the good cutting of all the good denims. Put that back up here. The next thing that I found in the kids section is this amazing vintage ringer tee. Let me get up close so you can see this tag. Oh yeah, can you see it? It's not really focusing. How about back here? No? Okay. Um, but yeah, this was in the little boys section. It was $2.99. It's a little oversized, which again, I don't know why they thought it was boys. Maybe just because of the look of it and the color of it. Um, but it was $2.99. It's super ultra duper soft. Um, you can just tell it's that vintage cotton. And because it was in the kids section, again, it was only $2.99. So super stoked on that. So let's get into the things that I found while I was in the adult clothing section. I've got like a bazillion crop tops, so I'm just going to go through those pretty quickly. The first of which is this adorable halter summery crop top. It has this crochet design on the front, ties up at the neck, and then just has this really simple two-strap 
thing going on in the back, very elastic. Um, this one I could totally see wearing out to like concerts in the park, which we have in Sacramento every Friday night at Cesar Chavez Park. Um, it's free, it's fun, it's a great excuse to get dressed up and go out and be outside and have a cold beer and hang out with friends. And yeah, I thought this would be perfect for that and I only paid a dollar for it. The next crop top is a little bit on trend with the whole gingham pattern style. This one's by Forever 21. Um, it's just kind of like high necked. It has like a thicker material than you think it would, um, but I actually kind of like that because I find that the thicker materials last a little bit longer, um, especially if you're shopping like Forever 21. Uh, most of their stuff, you wash it like one time and it just falls apart on you. Um, but this one I've worn several times since buying it. I think I paid two or three dollars. And it's super cute, super cropped, adorable with those high-waisted Levi jeans and some chucks. And for two or three bucks, you can't beat it. These two crop tops are pretty much the same exact top made by BP, which is a Nordstrom brand. We've got one in sage green, one black and white stripes, one, the which was interesting, the green one I think I paid $2 for, the black and white striped one I paid $6 for. Now, typically I won't spend more than $3, $4 on the top, but if I really like it, and I really love black and white stripes, I mean, who doesn't? I will pay a little bit extra, especially if it's soft and fits me well. Um, this one I don't think I would have paid that much for, but that's because it's green. So speaking of black and white stripe numbers, uh, this is another one of my f current favorite tops. It is a J. Crew V-neck t-shirt. Um, it's kind of got this off-white, almost tan-ish. Um, contrast with the black which I like because it almost like plays it down a little bit. Um, I love wearing this with black pants and kind of an army green overshirt. At least in the spring I like to do that. It's probably getting too hot to do that now. Um, but I find that I'm really loving uh, J. Crew. I don't know why I couldn't think of that for a second. I'm really loving J. Crew. These next two tops are also very similar. Are you seeing a trend? Um, this one is by Mud. Um, it's not quite as cropped as the other crop tops, which is fine because then I can wear it to work. Um, but it has just this high neck. It's made by Mud, um, which I think used to be sold at Mervyn's. I don't know if they sell it anymore. Um, but it's this really like soft knit material, which is nice and it's ribbed and it's stretchy and just all about comfort. And this was $1.99. The one that is almost identical in color and fabric, but not the same cut. Um, this one has more of the mock turtleneck, high neck, and again, isn't as cropped as the crop tops from earlier, um, so I can wear it to work or wear it tucked into pants versus up above them. Um, and this one, again, is also really soft. It's from Aeropostal, and it was $1.99. This next top was only 99 cents and I was kind of jazzed about it because it's vintage Michael Stars, um, which is a 100% USA company. I don't know if they are anymore, I need to do some research on that, but I find that whenever I see their stuff, it's always pretty well made. Even if it's vintage, like I'm assuming this is vintage, uh, the tag makes me think that, but it doesn't actually have... A date it just says made in the USA but it's really cool it's got this army green color which I just love it's like a staple color of mine obviously um, and it has like kind of this little bit of glitter to it which I like and I think it's just gonna be really cute tucked into some high-waisted shorts or some high-waisted jeans and for 99 cents couldn't pass it up Speaking of high-waisted shorts, I almost forgot these. These are some high-waisted, flowy, black Forever 21 uh, shorts. They zip in the back. They sit, like, right above my belly button, which is perfect, and they have pockets. Um, like I said in my Come Thrifting With Me video, I feel like I'm getting a little bit too old for hot pants and short shorts and things like that, so I'm trying to branch out and find things that are a little bit more modest, a little bit more loose, a little bit more comfortable, and at $5.99, I feel like these were a really good deal, 
They're in pretty perfect condition other than needing an iron. This was a more recent purchase, so I haven't even washed these yet, actually. Um, but I can't wait to wear them. I think they're going to be a really good staple for the summer. This next shirt I actually found brand new with the Macy's tag still on it. The Macy's tag said this shirt was going for $30 or $35. No, I would not pay $30 or $35 for this shirt. Five or six, which I did pay for it, brand new with the tags on it, I will pay. Um, the brand is Polly and Esther, which I have never heard of. Um, but it's very comfortable, has kind of a cool, like, boat neck style neckline to it. It's very stretchy, has that ribbed, and again, it's striped. It's not black and white striped, so I'm ranching out a tiny bit. Um, but it is super cute with those denim shorts and some chucks for summer. The next thing, I have a couple things in my closet to show you as well, but the last thing on, oh, no, there's some earrings. So the second to last thing on the bed that I wanted to show you guys is this black maxi dress that I found during my Come Thrifting With Me video. Um, like I said in that video, it was $12.99, I think, $11.99, $12.99, something like that. So it was a little bit pricey for a thrift store, but I did end up buying it because it looks like it's brand new. Like, I don't think it's ever been worn or washed. It just, it looks brand new. It's from Lush, which is a Nordstrom brand. I mean, it even still has these little things on it, which I feel like most people, myself included, like that's the first thing to go when I wear one of these dresses. I'm not wearing little plastic strings near my armpits. Like that's just not comfortable. But the reason that I was willing to splurge a little bit on this is I am pretty short. I don't know if you can tell on camera, um, but this actually fit me in length without needing any hemming, without needing to wear high heels. So I feel like it's gonna be a really great staple for summer to just kind of throw on, throw on some sandals and look really nice in a very short amount of time. So I was really excited to find that because I feel like every maxi dress I try on is just way too long on me. It looks like a nightgown or like I'm a little girl wearing mommy's clothes. So yeah, I think I only have three things left to show you guys. These obviously are in rotation already because they are on hangers. Fortunately, I haven't found any shoes lately. I did go buy some myself some new Birkenstocks um, online. Some authentic ones. Don't buy on Amazon. I've heard those aren't authentic. Um, they were like a little pricey, but you can't buy used Birkenstocks because anyway. I will rant on that later. Um, the first top is this adorable J. Crew denim top. I actually had reservations about it when I saw it on the hanger, but I've been trying on almost every J. Crew item that I find lately just because I find that they're made really well and they fit me really well for some reason. So I wasn't really sure about it when I saw it, but then when I put it on with some really nice crisp black jeans and some mules or some loafers, super duper cute. And at four or five dollars, I mean, J. Crew doesn't go for four or five dollars, especially not like a high quality denim top like this. So I was really excited that that one actually worked out and that I actually gave it a chance. Um, so let that be a lesson to you. Even if you don't like something on the hanger, doesn't mean it's not going to look great on you. Here's another basic that I found that I think was a great price. It seemed like it was brand new. It's only from Target, but it's super on trend with the crisscross straps in the front. It goes with everything, like absolutely everything, and it's so comfortable, and I think I got it for $3. So $3 for like an on-trend basic top that I can wear with anything. Couldn't pass it up. The last thing, which was kind of different for me, like I'm very into kimonos, but I've never bought like a long button-up shirt. And I thought at first that maybe it was a dress, and I'm seeing now online that I could actually wear it however I want. I could wear it with belts and make it a dress. I've been wearing it open over other things as sort of like a business kimono. Um, but this was only $3 at a place called Thrift Town that I don't really go to regularly. It has this cool kind of suede material to it. And what brand is it? Uniqlo, which I think is like a good brand, right? I don't know. I don't remember. But anyway, so I think that's pretty much it for like my favorite items and my most recent items for 2018. I really need to get better about making these videos because I do enjoy thrifting and I do enjoy making these videos and I hope you guys enjoy watching them. Again, I hope it inspires you to check out your local thrift store. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you later.